Hi, this is Dorothy with Thought Scrapbooking, and I wanted to show you something wonderful that close to my heart is um, giving people. Actually, if you go to dorothy.closetomyheart.com, uh, you don't have to go to my website. If you have another maker that you want to go to that you use, you can go to her uh, website or their website. Um, I'm not making any money off of this, so it doesn't really matter. So I want you to go over to the More tab and come down to where it says Workshop Guides and click on it. When you see that, you will find this treasure trove of scrapbook guides and workshop kits that Close to My Heart is making available to you. This is... I am telling you, it is a treasure because this is four years worth of scrapbooking workshops, card making workshops, all sorts of kinds of kits. And uh, I haven't done a count of how many it is, but it's a lot. And so let me just show you, this is the digital guide. Now, if I can find the top. Okay, so just first of all, here's the name. It's in alphabetical order from A to Z. You can change it and go from Z to A. Actually, it starts with Y, but if you know the name that you're looking for and it happens to be White Pines, then you want to get closer to the Ys. So you can do it alphabetical, or you can come over to the product number, if you know the product number that you didn't get the guide to, then you can do it by guides, and that can also be numerically. And even this even offers things that were offered to only the VIPs. So let's just look at that. Here's a uh, VIP highlight scrapbook workshop. So I'm going to click it. It automatically goes, when I click it, it automatically goes to my download directory up here. And that is VIP 109. So I'm going to click it and it opens it. And it has highlights. And so here is the schematics for how to put the um, cards or pages together. It has how to cut the pieces that were part of the kit. You can use your own papers here. It has the size of everything. This is four by six, three by fours. If you're cutting them up, they give you those dimensions. And then you've got, you know, other papers that come with it and cardstocks that come with it, how to cut those, what size to make them. And then it has the layouts. So it has how to do everything, techniques to use, how to do the techniques. When I tell you that this is a treasure trove, here's the schematic of exactly where to put all of the pieces to get that same look. I mean, this is truly a treasure for anybody can come and download these guides. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, if you if you don't know, if you haven't done much downloading, okay, so here I'm going to pull that up again. And I'm going to um, click on it and come down to Save As. Well, I have already made in my Documents folder on my computer, I made a folder that says workshop guides. So you can go to my documents or wherever you want to put it. So here's document guides 2020 to 2024. I'm going to double click it. And here are some of the things that I have already put on that folder. So um, I want to save it. And then when I go to, whoops. So I want to change the name of it. 
And this says product guide, US. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm going to right click and um, ah, right click and do a rename so that I know what it is. And it's just going to be called highlights. There we go. So that's, that's more of a meaningful name for me. I'll kind of know what that means rather than otherwise I have however many of these that are all product guides. So that gives me no hint and the numbers really don't help me too much. You don't have to save the number if you don't want to. You can just save them by the name. But if you keep the number, I don't know whether, you know, at some point it might be helpful to you. So anyway, let me just do that again. Okay, I'm going to close this one. And go down to, let's just start at, okay, here's the last one. You go, girl. Card making. So I'm going to click on it. Up here is this little download. I'm going to click on that. Hello. And there's the 319. I'm going to click on it and open it. And here it is. And then I'm going to do a save as. And it's automatically opening my workshop guide because that's the last thing I opened. And I am going to, let me see if I can get it to do, do it right here. So you go, girl. I don't know whether it'll do it or not. It gave me a hard time the last time. Okay, so it did it. So let me try that one more time. And how about the You Are Enough album? That was an amazing thing. So I'm going once again to my download. And uh, You Are Enough, the album is 2121. And so I'm going to come over here. And here is... So this was a six by eight album that we did, and it had the most glorious papers with it, some marbleized papers. Um, they were just really, really lovely. Um, and I made this album, and it was just really beautiful. So anyway, let me come back up, and I just want to do a save as... So here it is. It's kind of in my download directory right now. I'm going to open it up and do save as and go to here, here it is. And I'm going to do you are enough, U-G-H, and save it. So there we go. Now, I would suggest just take some time and go through all of these. I know a lot of people, a lot of my um, customers have said, you know, they they don't have the guide on the uh, available in the um, website anymore. And do you have a copy of the guide? And, you know, I might print one out for them. This way, you don't have to do any printing. You can work directly off your computer and you can download every single one of these. So I just wanted to make you aware of this. Once again, it's in the, um, you go up here on the homepage and it's shop promotions, VIP and more. And you go down to workshop guides and that's where you can find them. So that being said, let me just turn the camera a little bit and I can't see what I'm doing. So Please forgive me, and I probably don't have a great background either, um, but I'm Dorothy, and I'm with, I am dot scrapbooking. My husband named it because of my name, Dorothy, but um, I just wanted to let you know, I've been a close to my heart maker slash consultant um, since 2008, and for probably three, four, five years before that, I was in a group that uh, used Close to My Heart um, to make scrapbook pages and cards. 
And um, when I retired, my the person who's my upline, Janine, um, asked me if I wanted to take over the group. And I said, you know what, as soon as I retire, I'll take over the group. And that's in 2008, I did. And uh, I was glad to do it because number one, they came out with workshops and kits that had all of the instructions, how to use the paper, how to do all the techniques. And I felt like since I am not um, an artistic person, that uh, I can read recipes and I can follow them uh, well, for the most part. And um, I could do this. And so I started off with a group that Janine, she didn't have to drive down from Denton to Dallas anymore. And uh, she gave me that group. And it was a group that I had been working with uh, for, you know, the years. And um, I just kind of... Uh, got a few more groups after that. And so um, for Close to My Heart, the reason why I could stay with it as long as I did is because their products were amazing, are amazing. Um, but come June 30th, they will officially be closed. And come April 30th, uh, all of the makers um, will lose their websites and it will everything will go directly to Close to My Heart. So um, in the meantime, if you're a VIP, then uh, they have opened the ability to purchase to almost everything that's available right now and to use your VIP credits. And um, I just wanted to let everybody know that you know, this has been something that has been near and dear to me. I, my, I have two, I have this office and then I have my video room next door. And then I have a piecemeal room <laughs> behind me where I do, I have all of my die cutting and stuff set up. And, uh, so this has kind of taken over a portion of my house and, um, <laughs> I am going to miss it. I am going to miss it terribly. I don't really know exactly what to do yet, and I'm trying to figure that out. I want to continue making videos for sure. Um, so I will have to just do a wait and see of what, how I'm going to go about everything. But I wanted to let you know that Close to My Heart has been an amazing company. And just the fact that they have made all the last four years of guides available to everybody uh, to download is pretty indicative of the kind of people that they are. Um, the women, and there's some men, uh, but the, the people who run close to my heart, I know that they're hurting. And, you know, it for them it's even more. I mean, their jobs, their livelihoods are all tied up and close to my heart. And, you know, it isn't just the close to my heart people that are sad. You know, people from Stamping Up, people from Creative Memories, people, video people, um, YouTubers out there are sad to lose close to my heart because their products are incredible. And, you know, you could always count on them. And the white core cardstock is gorgeous. The papers aren't paper. They're, they're almost cardstock. And I am really going to miss this, the quality of the product that they've been able to uh, put out consistently. That being said, the company is not going bankrupt. Uh, Jeanette Linton has been sick for quite some time. And I think she feels that it, this is time for her baby to rest. And, um, you know, thank you, Jeanette, for all of the art that you've given those of us who are not artists, um, but then we can make, you've been able to give us something where we can make art. And um, my, the group, uh, small group of people that has been under me, um, some of them have since left, but, uh, you know, the name of my group I picked was from art to heart and uh you know it's your family it's the people you love 
and that's what you're documenting. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's kind of an emotional business, frankly, just because when you're making cards to give to people who are sick or who are hurting or who are happy or who are, you know, sharing in joy with weddings or babies, it's an emotional business. And, uh, I hate to lose this. So, um, thank you. If you've been watching my YouTube channel, thank you so much. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it up. Um, however, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but in the meantime, um, I will miss close to my heart and I know so many of you will miss close to my heart too. So thank you so much for being a part of my life. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and, um, take care and keep on crafting. It's good for you. It's good for people around you. It's good for your brain. Keep your brain active, your hands active, your mind active, and uh, make art, even if you're not an artist. Thanks. Bye now.